Hi, this is Fred Neiman of Hanlon Neiman, a central New Jersey law firm practicing a state administration, state and probate litigation in all 21 counties of the state of New Jersey. I want to talk to you today about accountings. I've tried to take five different videos on this subject, but each one has been less successful than the earlier one. So I'm going to try to simplify it. What is an accounting? An accounting is an, a statement prepared by a, a personal representative which details receipts and expenditures on behalf of the principal or the estate. When I use the word principal, I mean the person who is benefiting from the services of a power of attorney or a guardian. And when I use the word estate, I mean an estate that is subject to probate or estate administration uh, under a last will or trust or in the absence of a will or trust uh, according to the intestate laws of the state of New Jersey. Accountings are important because it provides a level of information and assurance to beneficiaries that they're not being ripped off. By ripped off I mean that the representative is utilizing the funds appropriately, is doing his or her best to accumulate all the funds for their benefit and is not unreasonably spending the money for purposes that don't generally benefit the beneficiary or the uh, legal um, protection of the representative. There are two types of accountings. There's an informal accounting and a formal accounting. An informal accounting is one where you essentially list all of the income and expenses by subject matter and, it, and, it, and at the bottom gives you a rough figure of what's uh, either been received or expended and the present balance to date. Most accountings are informal accountings. Sometimes personal representatives will just hand over all of the statements, all of the checks, all of the deposits, and have the beneficiary form their own opinion as to the validity of what's being done. That uh, is oftentimes objected to, but in, in its simplest sense, that is an accounting. But most people want some summary which is easy and quicker to review, and that's when you go to a informal accounting which is prepared generally under the supervision of someone with some kind of financial background. Compare an informal accounting with a formal accounting, which is essentially an audited financial statement prepared by either an accountant or CPA, where the verification is made of actual deposits to the account and verification is made of the actual expenditures from the account. Uh, formal accountings, much more detailed, much more expensive, and aren't legally required in the administration of the estate or in the reporting of a guardian or power of attorney unless demanded by the court or by a personal representative or beneficiary. So I hope this gives you a little background information. Accountings are very important, very frequently used. There's formal accountings and informal accountings. If you have questions as to what is a suitable accounting and when and to whom it should be provided, give us a call. Happy to meet with you and answer your questions.